Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see MCQs related with soil mechanics. Rankine's theory of earth pressures assumes that the back of wall is option A vertical and smooth, option B plain and rough, option C vertical and rough, option D plain and smooth. The correct answer is option A vertical and smooth. The coefficient of effective earth pressure for a loose and having an angle of internal friction of 30 degree is option A 3, option B 1 by 3, option C 2, option D 1 by 2. The, the correct answer is option B 1 by 3. Total lateral earth pressure is proportional to option A depth of soil, option B square of depth of soil, option C angle of internal friction of soil, option D Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option B, square of depth of soil. Which of the following earth pressure theories is directly applicable to bulk hits? Option A, Rankine's theory. Option B, Coulomb's theory. Option C, both A and B. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option D, none of the above. Cohesive soils are Option A, good for backfill because of low lateral pressure. Option B, good for backfill because of higher shear strength. Option C, poor of backfill because of large lateral pressure. Option C, none of, option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, poor for backfill because of large lateral pressure. Bishop's method of stability analysis. Option A is more conservative. Option B assumes the slip surface as an arc of a circle. Option C neglects the effective of forces acting on the side of slice. Option D all the above. The correct answer is option B assumes the slip surface as an arc of a circle. Allowable bearing pressure for a foundation depends upon option A allowable settle settlement only, option B ultimate bearing capacity of soil only, option C both A and B, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option C both A and B. According to Tresahi's theory, the ultimate bearing capacity at ground surface of a purely cohesive soil and for smooth base of a strip flooring is option A 5.14 C, option B 6.2 C, option C 2.57 C, option D 5.7 C. The correct answer is option A 5.14 C. In the plate load test for determining the bearing capacity of soil, the size of square bearing plate should be option A less than 300 mm, option B between 70 mm and 1 m. Option C greater than 1 m. Option D between 300 mm and 750 mm. The correct answer is option D between 300 mm and 750 mm. Select the incorrect statement. Option A bearing capacity of soil depends upon the amount and direction of load. Option B bearing capacity of soil depends upon the type of soil. Option C bearing capacity of soil depends upon shape and size of footing. Option D, bearing capacity of a soil is independent of rate of loading. The correct answer is option A, bearing capacity of soil depends upon the amount and direction of load. Combined footing is generally used when option A, number of column is more than 2 and they are spaced far apart. Option B, number of column is 2 and they are spaced close to each other. Option C, number of column 2 and they are spaced far apart. Option D, there is only one column. The correct answer is option B, number of column is 2 and they are spaced close to each other. Negative skin friction on a pile. Option A, act downward and increase the load carrying capacity of pile. Option B, act upward and increase the load carrying capacity of pile. Option C, act upward and reduce the loading carrying capacity of pile. Option D, act downward and reduce the load carrying capacity P of the pile. Correct answer is option D, act downward and reduce the load carrying capacity of the pile. Rise of water table in cohesionless soil up to ground surface reduce the net ultimate bearing capacity of soil by option A 25%, option B 50%, option C 75%, option D 10%. The correct answer is option B, 50%. A single acting steam hammer weighting 22.5 kN and falling through a height of 1.2 meter drives a pile. If the final set is 
12.5 एम एम देन अकॉर्डिंग टू इंजीनियरिंग न्यूज फार्मूला ऑप्शन ए अलवेबल लोड फॉर अ पाइल इज 300 हंड्रेड के एन ऑप्शन बी अल्टीमेट बैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द पॉइल इज पाइल इज 300 हंड्रेड के एन ऑप्शन सी अलवेबल लोड ऑफ पॉइल इज वन ट्वेंटी के एन ऑप्शन डी अल्टीमेट बैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ पाइल इज वन ट्वेंटी के एन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए अलवेबल लोड फॉर अ पाइल इज थ्री हंड्रेड के एन कॉन्टैक्ट प्रेशर बिनेट इज रिगिड फोटिंग टेस्टिंग ऑन कोहिसिव सॉइल इज ऑप्शन ए लेस एट एजेस कंपेर्ड टू मेडल ऑप्शन बी मोर एट एजेस कंपेर्ड टू मेडल ऑप्शन सी यूनिफॉर्म थ्रू आउट ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दि एबो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी मोर एट एजेस कंपेर्ड टू मेडल द मैक्सिमम डिफरेंशियल सेटलमेंट इन आइसोलेटेड फोटिंग ऑन क्लेई सॉइल्स शुड बी लिमिटेड टू ऑप्शन ए सिक्सटी फाइव एम एम ऑप्शन बी फोर्टी एम एम ऑप्शन सी ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम ऑप्शन डी हंड्रेड एम एम द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी फोर्टी एम एम द सेटलमेंट ऑफ अ ग्रूप ऑफ अ फ्रिक्शन पाइल एज कंपेर्ड टू दैट अ सिंगल पाइल ऑप्शन ए सेम ऑप्शन बी लेस ऑप्शन सी मोर ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दि एबो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी मोर Mechanical stabilization of soil is done with the help of option A cement option B lime option option C bitumen option D proper grading the correct answer is option D proper grading lime stabilization is effective in treating option A sandy soil option B silty soil option C non plastic soil option D plastic clayey soil the correct answer is option D plastic clayey soil A plate load test is useful to estimate option A settlement of foundation option B bearing capacity of foundation option C both A and B option D none of the above the correct answer is option C both A and B The largest value of stability number is option A 0.261 option B 0.5 option C 1.0 option D 2.0 the correct answer is option A 0.261